Hey there, hello again, welcome to another Slightly Redneck video here. I'm going to do a little bit of a review on my uh, my solar panels that I've got on the roof here. Uh, it's been just a couple of months, I got them installed in uh, December and this is March uh, 7th today, March 8th today, sorry. So uh, it's been just a couple of months, I've had uh, enough time now where I think I've got uh, a pretty good idea of how the solar panels work and I've got one full bill on, uh, you know, while working on the, the solar panels. So that's the good news, so let's take a look at that, look at that. There's my electric bill, and you can see $17 credit, do not pay. Um, I actually have two electric bills um, because they split it up, and you can see on this one, $20 credit, do not pay. And I'll explain these to you here in just a second, but basically I'm, I'm building up credits with the uh, with the electric company here. So before I get into the bill itself, let's take a look at the, uh, the panels and let's see how they're uh, performing. I haven't looked at them in a while, so uh, we'll go take a look at my meter and we'll see uh, how many uh, credits I've built up with the electric company. So... Okay, if you're not familiar with my uh, my videos on solar panels before, then this may look a little confusing to you, but this is the basic thing. This is my meter. It's going to display here in just a second how many uh, kilowatts I've used. Delivered is how many they've delivered to me, 1301. And then received is how many they've received from me, 1928. So I've way outproduced what I've used, um, and that's what will build up as a credit on my bill. So... Uh, you know, pretty pretty good system so far. Let's uh, step back here and we'll take a look at what they look like again. All right, so again, if you haven't seen my, my solar panels before, those are my panels, faces the front of the house, on that side and on this side of the house. So it's a pretty good system, a grid tie system, and uh, you know, not much more to say about that. All right, just to try to explain a little bit how these bills work because I got a little bit confused when I got them. This is my main uh, meter bill and you can see it shows that I had a previous bill of $136. I was on a, a level payment plan with my electric company so I paid the same amount every single month. Um, just you know build up a credit during the winter work it off during the summer. So that's where that $136 previous bill came from. Um, balance forward was $136 and I'm ending up with a $20.57 credit. Part of that is because of this level payment plan that I was on when I came off of that, I had a little bit of a credit built up. But if I turn this bill over on the back, this gives you a little bit of a better idea. So you can see you know, I've got a customer charge of $12.52. That's standard every month just for being hooked up to the grid. I used 580 kilowatt hours at .12254, which would have been a bill of $71.07. Now, my electric company is not real sophisticated yet. They have to hand write in my usage, but you can see they've credited me 580 kilowatt hours. Uh, for a total of seventy four seventy nine that 's basically these charges right here with the uh, four cents for some of those kilowatts uh, for the energy efficient program cost for the fuel cost those charges right there is basically what that is and then there's a, a there 's a franchise fee that comes in with that as well so basically, my bill would have been thirteen dollars and thirty two cents had I not already built up credits that has nothing to do with my solar panel system right there that is just credits I built up because I was on a, a level payment plan. But so I would have had a $13.32 bill from my electric company had it not been for those credits I built up. Now they send a separate bill. I know this is confusing. They send a separate bill for my net metering, which is basically the credits I'm building up for everything over. Uh, what I use, everything I produce over what I use. And this is just a credit, $17.79 credit, more than pays for the $13.32 charge I would have had had I not already had credits built up. Hopefully that makes sense. So turn this bill over again and you'll just see the back. It shows a usage charge. It shows current monthly charges, 501 kilowatts. That's the difference between the 580 that they credited to my bill uh, that I used and what I produced over that 580 is 501 kilowatt hours. They only pay me 3.5 cents per kilowatt. That comes out to a credit of $17.79. So the electric company is buying back my electricity basically at the same rate that they would buy it from another supplier. So it's not huge money that you're going to be building up here, but with this credit working in and uh, the way that my solar panels are working, uh, it, it more than covers my bill and actually ends up with a little bit more of a credit because uh, I would have only had a $13 bill. So you know, had it not been for the credits I built up from the level payment plan, I would have ended up with about a $4 credit after paying everything on my electric bill. So you kind of get the idea there. Solar panels, uh, they do work. So let me uh, 
turn this video camera around here, we'll get this video closed out. All right, so you can see that uh, my solar panels are working out great so far. Um, I'm a little bit curious to see what it's going to look like in the middle of summer when I'm running my air conditioner. I imagine there'll be, you know, at least a month or two there where I'll have a little bit of an electric bill I have to pay because, you know, running the air conditioner runs up my electric bills. Uh, but so far, things are working great. I mean, we have longer days in the summer, more sunlight, so I'll produce more electricity, but I'm going to be using a whole lot more too. So. I really don't know what to expect there. I don't expect it to be um, vastly different than what I'm doing right now. Um, what what the hope is is that those four dollars, five dollar a month credits that I'm building up will pretty much cover those couple of months in the summer when I'm using my air conditioner and running the electric bills way up. So we'll see what it looks like when it gets there. But you can see by my bill uh, when I was on the electric or the uh, yeah the auto payment or the excuse me the level pay plan with my electric company. What they do is they just basically take all your charges for the year. They average it out. Out and you pay that same amount every month. So it avoids the summertime, your bill going way up and then going down in the wintertime so you can kind of budget it a little bit better. So, But I was paying $136 a month for my electric every single month that was on my level payment plan. My solar panels are costing me right now $112 a month. So a, I mean, I'm getting a $20, roughly a $20 drop in rate. I'm paying for solar panels instead of paying the electric company. And even if I do end up with a you know, $15, $20 bill from the electric company, I'm still breaking even. I'm, I'm still coming out on top for the year. So, so far, solar panels have been a great investment for me. Also, uh, the company that I went with, Missouri Sun Solar, um, you know, the, the, when the bills came in, I mean, there's a little bit of confusion on there, so I sent it to them to help me kind of figure that out, and they were very helpful in doing that. They, even though you know they've already installed everything, they've already done everything, I contacted them, said, "Hey, I got my first bill. I'm confused about this," and they were very help me, helpful to put me in contact with my uh, energy rep and uh, help me get some of these things kind of sorted out. This is kind of new in my area. Not a lot of people doing solar. It's a fairly new thing. The electric company's not quite. Um, up on it yet. You can see that to hand write things in on the bill because their system can't report it. So uh, I, I was real appreciative that Missouri Sun Solar was able to uh, to kind of give me a little bit of feedback there. I called my electric company and they were helpful as well. Um, but it was nice to be able to uh, to talk to people on both sides of that and uh, and get some feedback from them. And they didn't, you know, the, the impressive thing about Missouri Sun Solar is that I've already signed my paperwork. They've already got the installation done. I'm already making payments on my solar panels. They didn't have to do anything for me at that point, but they were willing to do it. So I, I appreciate that. Uh, good company to work with, uh, and they've been just uh, just very friendly and very helpful for me all along the way. So I can't say enough good about them as, as far as that goes. And um, you know, I'm not sponsored by them. I'm not getting anything for this video, but. If you do use Missouri Sun Solar, make sure to use me as a reference. Uh, I think I left my full name on the bill, so you can see my full name, even if you know me as slightly redneck. Trust me, they'll know who that is if you use that name too. Use me as a referral, though, if you if you decide to sign up with Solar Power Forum, because I'll get a little bit of a referral bonus from that, and I appreciate that. So, anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate your time, and as always, uh, God bless.